I just realised that I forgot to introduce this vlog. Um, so the reason for the idea behind the vlog was because of a tweet that I saw that basically said the book is like soft porn and I was like, what the heck? So I've never actually read the book so I thought it'd be a good idea to read it and see what the heck that tweet was about. seem to spend a lot of time at the nest which I don't remember if that's a thing in the movie or not. Liz already told Bianca that she's like the duff, the designated ugly fat friend. I think this is quite early on compared to the movie but I'm not 100% sure on that as I actually can't remember all the details and they seem to be hanging out at the nest a lot which is like a bar for under 18s and then Bianca's actually kissed Wesley I think this is definitely different to the movie. throwing herself at Wesley twice? Three times now I think. So they've actually ended up having sex once and making out in kind of a janitor's closet. So it's definitely more sexual than the movie. <laughs> so Bianca's parents are now getting a divorce. So her mom is doing some kind of travel job that is keeping her away from home. But her dad seems to be kind of a recovering alcoholic and she lives with him, which I don't think is the case in the movie. This is the reason that she keeps kind of throwing herself at Wesley. She's just kind of using him as a distraction. But it's definitely different to what was happening in the movie, obviously, because they didn't have a sexual relationship at all, I don't think. chapter 20 now Bianca's realised that she's got feelings for Wesley. So one of the big scenes in the book that's not in the movie um, revolves around her dad being an alcoholic and Wesley actually ends up punching him. The big difference that I realised is that Madison is not in the book at all. She doesn't seem to be an actual character so I think she's just been completely made up for the sake of the movie. <laughs>
So I finished um, the book yesterday. I wouldn't say it was my favourite thing that I've ever read. Um, it wasn't bad, but it was just pretty meh. It was just okay. I feel like the book ends kind of a little bit abruptly. So towards the end she starts dating Toby, who is completely different to the movie. He's kind of more of like a nerd character. And then it's like the last chapter, I think, that she ends up getting with Wesley. So I'm not sure why it was wrapped up so quickly in my opinion. Overall I think the book was good as I mentioned, well it was kind of okay, but I do like that there was more to the family. I think Wesley's family dynamics or issues that he clearly had could have been expanded on a little bit, but I like that Bianca had a lot more going on and that explained kind of why she was going to Wesley, but obviously that doesn't happen in the movie so I guess it wasn't really needed maybe. So I'm gonna watch the movie now and compare the two. I kind of remember a little bit about the movie and then it's kind of cheesy but I don't really remember everything about it. Casey has the hottest rack. Bianca! Tia has the hottest friends. Yeah. So I finished the movie and oh my god I forgot how cheesy it is. It was still good, but yeah, it's just, I don't think it is a Netflix original movie, but it definitely has the same kind of Noah Centennial type movie style vibes for me. The movie definitely relies more heavily on social media. There's a big fight that the girls have when they fall out and they all unfriend each other on different social media sites and things. But I think that's probably because this came out in like 2015 and the book was 2010, so there's quite a big gap between it and I think social media has obviously become more prevalent. The movie and the book definitely have different vibes to them I feel so it's hard for me to say which one I actually preferred but I really do like Madison's character in the movie as kind of the mean girl and I mean I love Bella Thorne too so that doesn't hurt but yeah I probably do prefer the book just because there's a bit more hard hit into it and the movie is super cheesy but I'm still glad that I read it and watched the movie. Let me know down in the comments if you have read the book or seen the movie or if you've done both, which you prefer. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.